Passport system configuration settings are generally going to be set up during the installation and implementation process. However, you may reach a point where you'll need to update these settings to better fit your changing business needs. In this video, we'll brief briefly review the information that's listed within Passport system configuration section. To access the system configuration, uh, you'll first need to be logged in as an administrator, and then you'll either click on the admin ribbon at the top, or you'll click on the admin folder in the folder tree and select system configuration. On the general tab, the allow decimal and allow negative quantities is strictly for quantity-based inventory, so if you're only tracking assets, you won't need to do anything for this section. If you are using the uh, check-in and check-out module, this is where you'd also be able to determine the time frame uh, that things are going to be due back. For the receive and purchase orders, uh, the receive stock methodology, again, if you're using uh, asset tracking only, you won't need to worry about that. But you can determine uh, how these purchase orders are validated if you're using purchase orders, as well as the tax rate on the purchase orders. For the desktop sync and mobile device, you'll be able to determine whether you just want a one-button sync or whether you'd be able to go through the individual processes, as well as how the uh, scanner, mobile scanner, is going to handle the physical inventory counts. For the information, excuse me, Internet Information Services tab, uh, this is going to always be set up during the installation process, but if you, say, update a server and you need to change servers, this is where this information would be set up. The SMTP server settings are uh, meant for the additional email and text alert module, and this is where you would add all of your server settings so that you could send out those email and text alerts.